Okay, so um, in this model, we're 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 just about at the point where we might want to start uh, start the simulation. We just need to um, make sure we have a few things um, ready to go, and that and one of those things is uh, is the ventilation. So the first thing I usually do is I usually um, uh, make sure that all of the um, extents of the model are open. Um, and so if you didn't see what I did, there's three tabs at the bottom of the main screen. There's a 3D view. There's also a 2D view. Um, uh, that gives you a nice, uh, it doesn't give you any of that, uh, that pixelated, uh, or, the, or the perspective, perspective, um, um, errors that you might have seen uh, earlier. Uh, and then there's record view. So since we're using FDS, basically, um, everything that we put into the model is going to be output into an FDS file, and the record view is how uh, is base is that FDS file program. Um, so we can see we have the time here, we have the reaction, we have the surface, we have all the obstructions, we have the holes that we made, um, we have our our vent, um, and so I like to just put in. Um, some additional vents um, and make them open um, and that way we don't have any uh, issues with uh, with pressure buildup or anything like that when we run the model and um, there might be a way to do this in virusim but I found that the easiest way is to just make them the extents x min x max y min y max and then I should do z max because z min is usually the floor and you don't have a lot of uh, um, fluid flow from uh, <laughs> the floor into the model. All right, so um, so looking at 2D view, um, we can just kind of check some of our our connections of some uh, some some walls, and you can see that some of them look pretty good. Like like this this one's pretty solid, but um, and this one's pretty solid. But if we go up here, maybe oh, there's a little bit of a gap here. And we want to make sure that uh, things like this don't happen. So I'm just going to drag this like that. And so um, sealing up some of these gaps is important so that you don't have smoke flow where, um, where you don't expect it. You, won't, you only want smoke flow um, through things like these openings that you made or these openings over here that, that we la left open. Um, we don't really want it through uh, places that we don't expect. And, um, if that happens, that's that's a problem, and, and you're gonna need to go back into the model and fix it. And if you've just spent a couple of days running the model, you don't really want to uh, you don't really want to do that. So you want to make sure that um, it's as good as it can good as it can be um, when you when you press go. So other than that, the other thing we want to make sure is since we're only doing one floor. We do we do need to make sure we have the appropriate ventilation into um, into this bottom floor, and right now all we got is a ceiling. Um, show that. Um, um, so the ceiling's on there right now, and so we can see that this is this is a drawing of the uh, first floor. Yeah, this is not a drawing of the first floor. Um, <coughs> um, but we do need to make um, the the ventilation for uh, what we would call the um, the floor, and um, we're going to be doing that by uh, making the openings for the stairs. And so um, we're going to be making some slab holes. Um, so our first one is going to be over at this stair. And we're just going to go basically from the um, bottom of the stair to the wall. It's going to snap, that's fine. Um, and then back down to the bottom of the stair. And then back here. And then enter. Um, okay, so we have this lab hole. Um, it's kind of hard to tell where it is in space. And um, we can see that it's definitely not going through. Through, um, it's not going through the uh, 
into the basement floor, which is what we want. So it's kind of the same issue that we saw with the other um, other holes. Uh, I think this one was zero. Um, but we want this to go down. So instead of a zero and going up 2.25, we sort of want this to be at, um, or we do want this to be at uh, about negative, I'm going to make it negative um, 0.5 just to uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, and then we can just copy that down and make this uh, 0.5. Um, and we'll see if that that how well that works. Um, So um, we can see that if we look from the bottom and from the top, then uh, that we can um, sort of see through this. However, um, one problem that I that you can notice is that there's a hole over here in the side of the wall, and we don't we don't necessarily want that. So let's just make sure that um, we look at uh, what the geometry is for this and where this is in the in the y direction. Um, we know zero zero is about here, so um, the y direction over here is going to be the most negative. This is going to be the most positive, so um, it's going to be somewhere around there. And we can use the ruler tool to figure out exactly um, where these two things interact. Um, So we can see that we really don't want um, our hole too far past the negative uh, 14.2 region. Um, so that's, I'm just going to make that the limit here. Um, instead of 14.5, make it 14.2. And then just copy that and paste it like that. Okay. Oops. So now, once we go back to the 3D view, you can see that it's not really um, threatening the wall over here. Um, uh, we, can, yeah, we can just use this. Um, we can see uh, see that's still going through uh, the floor slab, um, through the top, and so uh, that's what we want. Um, the other opening is going to be over here on this open stair. And um, I'm just going to make it a, uh, oops, I'm about to hole one here. So I'm just going to make it from uh, the bottom of the stairs. Just assume it goes to the, uh, there's an opening to the slab. Um, and then uh, stop it where this bathroom is. and Because um, I'm going to assume that there's a ceiling on the bathroom. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I think we're probably going to do the same thing and just um, sort of check and make sure that we have all everything um, all set. It doesn't look like it's really getting into uh, that area, but um, let's go to that 2D view again. We can go over over here, and uh, it's definitely not poking through yet. So um, <coughs> we'll do the same thing and make this uh, negative. 0.5 and uh, copy that down. Okay, and make this uh, sweet. And yeah, now we can see through it. So there's another opening that we uh, that we got done. Um, and so I think I think in general the opening this isn't going to be opening because because this is a storage shed and. Uh, um, Uh, actually, I think it's going to be an opening. So this will be an opening over here. There'll be openings where these uh, these shafts are, um, but uh, those those are kind of the only openings. So I'll make one over here, here, and here. Um, Alright, and so, oops. Make another one over here. I'll make a separate one for each shaft. Um, 
even though, uh, oops. There's that. Um, and so we'll just make this uh, staircase here go up through the uh, the floor over here. And I'm just going to see if... Uh, oops, it's, it's not that. That's a wall. Okay. So if we go back to this 2D view over here, um, these are all going to be roughly the same. So we can uh, adjust all these properties the same way. Um, change to 5, 5, the Z is going to be all negative 0 0.5. You know, you could probably make the argument that that might be a little bit lesser. Um, more, because that's not going to work. Um, properties, let's change this, it's going to be 0.5. Okay, so now they're all at least the same, the right, uh, no they're not, never mind. I guess you can't mass change them. Right. So it's going to be 0.55, it's going to be negative. So now we have some of the ventilation sorted out that we uh, that we want for our model. Um, so yeah, I think uh, so. That's that. That's how we uh, we make ventilation. Um, and we're just doing one floor of, uh, of the model. We'll just make sure that that uh, and we have the same problem over here. Um, so we have the same problem over here, so we're just going to have to change this to, uh, I think it was, was it 12.2 or something like that? I think. Let's see how that works. Uh, yeah, obviously. So it was. Okay, so that's clean. There's a little bit of a gap here. I think 